This short video is on the relationship between the quality of having a free open space in mind, freedom of mind you could say, and simple meditations that help you get into the kind of space and freedom of mind that allow for creativity to flow and for new ideas to emerge in a fresh and dynamic way. One of the ways of approaching creativity and space of mind is just the general experience of feeling contractive, contracted and expansive. And one of the things about meditation that is very useful to bear in mind is that it's a way of coming into a direct sense of your qualities and state of mind. So rather than just have ideas about what is going on, uh, you have a very direct sense of what's going on and an ability to adjust accordingly. So when you notice yourself getting very contracted and tight and pulled in, uh, over-focused perhaps, in a way that inhibits uh, creativity, free-flowing ideas, thoughts, inspiration, then you notice it straight away and you can adjust. You can kind of start to do things which will uh, loosen you, open you up and give you a more expansive frame of mind. One of the main ways that meditation helps with this is coming into what I call the uh, open sense of how you are or the whole sense of how you are. And what this does is it starts to orient you to having a sense of the whole of yourself, your body, its energy, the sensations and messages that your body is always giving you, your emotions and general mood, uh, your general underlying qualities, your instincts, your intuition and your imagination. So at the beginning of many meditations, the general guideline is just to arrive, to come into experience, in a way to come here, to be present, to actually not just have a, a noticing of what's going on, but a coming into what's going on. So you're actually in it. Uh, an engaged experience, an engaged awareness. And this is not just the starting point of meditation, but it's something which continues all through meditation. So actually this is very straightforward. It's not even necessarily linked with a method or a technique or, or an ideology. It's actually more connected with uh, your idea of what you want to do. So uh, purpose, you could say, or what matters to you, your values. So if you want to arrive more into a sense of direct experience, then just reminding yourself that that's what you want to do already makes a big difference. Having a little uh, prompts to come into direct experience have a big effect. So if you just sit quietly somewhere without any uh, chance of being distracted for say five minutes or ten minutes and you sit with a sense of stability and poise and then you just say very quietly and gently into your mind arrive into a whole sense of myself sitting here. And you find your way of doing that and saying that. So you're dropping in this idea of coming in to a whole experience and sense of yourself sitting here. And the mind, your mind might want to sort of jump around quite a bit, different ways of experiencing what it's like to be here but you approach the whole thing in a broad way. You have a broad sense 
of yourself sitting here. And you allow all the different sensations, however, whether they feel pleasant or unpleasant, different feelings and qualities that are in your body and in your mood uh, and in your thinking process, just to become more apparent. And you start to notice more of what is here. Now the word settle is a bit double-edged. It can mean sort of settled in a, a negative sense of no flow, uh, or it can be in a, seen in a positive way that you're sort of arriving more and more into a sense of yourself sitting here. And just taking five or ten minutes uh, pretty early in the day before your mind has become very busy with things can really help your creativity. So five minutes, ten minutes perhaps, of just having the sense of arriving into experience, noticing more and more from the most obvious sensations, feelings, qualities, energy, thoughts, to the most subtle. And in a way, there's a sense of curiosity here. What is here? And so experiencing and being here are the, the two main directions that you're coming into. And this gives you the ability to actually have choice. You might notice that you're starting to get very obsessed with something. You notice it because you're here. You've got a bit of uh, space to actually see it arrive. And then you've got the choice of, no, I'm not going to go in that direction. And this is an important part of being creative, choice. So creative choice uh, comes out of a sense of presence and being aware in an experiential way, rather than just in an abstract, observational kind of way.